Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Now before we begin our today's discussion, I want you to hear what the CEO of Lockheed Martin India said recently at AmCham India. AmCham India is an association of American business organizations operating in India. Happy to be here uh, with uh, AmCham India and we're excited about the accomplishments in 2022 and we're looking forward to 2023. I uh, represent Lockheed Martin here in India uh, for over three years now and uh, we're really pleased to see the induction of the MA60 Romeo supporting the C-130Js and tremendous opportunities going forward with the upcoming uh, requirements and, and actually we're partners in India. We've been here for over 30 years and and we are, we've been making in India, even before making India was a, was a slogan. And we're now looking forward to really producing the aircraft that India needs, but also increasing the exports from India to the US. We have been making several videos to give you an idea on how Indian aerospace sector has been growing. The private players are going to play a major role in this. But initially, these private firms will not be able to achieve of their own and would need assistance from foreign OEMs such as Airbus, Lockheed Martin, Boeing, Dassault, etc. However, once the private firms have gained experience with the development, in no time they can come up even with their own design of aircrafts, which is at present being done by government PSUs such as DRDO, HAL and NAL. Now recently we have informed that Lockheed Martin is in discussion for made in India Sukhoski S-76 helicopters which is a medium sized helicopter comparable with ALH Dhruv widely put to both civilian and military use in many countries such as Britain, Japan, Spain, Saudi Arabia and Argentina. Tata already has joint venture with Sukhoski Aircraft Corporation to manufacture airframes of S-92 helicopters for civil and military markets. This helicopter falls in the class of HL's IMRH program. A variant of this helicopter, which is VH-92, is under development which will replace the United States Marine Corps Marine 1 US Presidential Transport Fleet. The American defense firm Lockheed Martin owns Sukhoski. Now, Tata has another joint venture with Lockheed Martin to manufacture aerostructures for C-130 Hercules transport aircraft and its upgraded variants. The firm also manufactures the wings for F-16 fighter aircraft. It has also entered into an agreement to produce structures for Pilatus PC-12NG aircraft up to 2026. Tata also has joint venture with Boeing Aerospace Limited as sole manufacturer of the airframes for 864 Apache attack helicopters that Boeing is marketing globally. The C-295 of Airbus, which will be used by Indian Air Force, is also being made in India with 96% of construction activity undertaken by Tata. And if we talk about the commercial aircraft, be it Boeing or Airbus, most of them uses engines from CFM International, which is Again, a 50-50 joint venture between G Aviation and Safran aircraft engines. It has only two MR centers in France and United States for all its international customers. The third MRO, that is maintenance, repair and overhaul center for these engines will be set up in India. A Euro 200 million maintenance, repair and overhaul will be set up in Hyderabad for Leap engines which is one of the engine widely manufactured by CFM International and used in commercial airliners. This MRO center will become operational by 2025. The Tata Center of Excellence for Aero Engines that is Tata TCOE also has agreement with CFM for manufacturing and supply of engine parts used in Leap engines of CFM International. So in summary, India is becoming the center stage of global aerospace led by Tata. Tata has the potential to become the Lockheed Martin of India. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind.
will soon back with more